to the Daphne veteran who died last week after he was the target of a brutal home invasion. Robert Huber was laid to rest this afternoon. You know, his story touched a lot of people along the eastern shore. It united the community in many ways. Fox 10 News Baldwin County reporter Will Robinson-Smith was at that funeral today. With the Patriot Guard standing by just outside of the church and family and friends inside, many others also came by to pay their final respects to Robert Huber. It's an emotional moment for everybody and not a, what you might call a sad moment, but a, a real joyful emotional moment because to see how much this community had done and the love they showed is tremendous. Huber's story touched many lives and inspired the Eastern Shore community to do what they could for the senior citizen. Heber was attacked and robbed inside his home two months ago. Daphne police say they've identified two persons of interest in the case. Everybody has just been so great and, and so willing to do whatever they could to help this family. And, and that, that emotionally for a, a chaplain is something that we uh, unfortunately don't see a lot of sometimes. There's a lot of great people that come out and, and show their, their love. For, for us, for anybody, uh, believe me, they're there. His attitude was insurmountable. Uh, he just wouldn't quit fighting, he wouldn't give up, and that's the veteran warrior that he was. Huber was a veteran of 30 years, during which he served in both the Air Force and the Navy and fought in the Korean and Vietnam War. The man lovingly known as G-Bob received a full military funeral and was ultimately interred beside his wife at Barrancas National Cemetery. He is a great guy. He was our great dad. And Deb and I could have never asked for a better mom and dad and growing up through the end of his life. And he'll always be in our heart. Always. From Fairhope to Pensacola, Will Robinson Smith, Fox 10 News. As we mentioned, police have named two persons of interest in the case, Melvin Safford Jr. and Joseph James Johnson. Investigators say Johnson knew Huber after doing lawn work for him years ago. Safford is now behind bars on an unrelated felony theft charge. If you know anything about this case, anything at all, you're asked to call Daphne Police right away.